What's up everyone and thank you for choosing to learn with Lamb. Today we're going to be going over how to convert from mass to particles and from particles back to mass. And as an added bonus, I'm even going to throw in an extra practice problem that involves ratios. It's going to be a bit of a longer lesson, so buckle up and let's get going. The equations we're going to be using today are both little n equals big N over NA and little n equals little m over big M. If you're still a little unsure about these equations, you can check out the calculating moles and calculating mass tutorials that are in the description below. Just a reminder here that little n represents moles and its unit is mole. Big N represents any kind of particle. Na is Avogadro's constant, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Little m is mass, its unit is grams, and big M is molar mass, and its unit is grams per mole. Notice that both equations have moles in it, meaning that if we can find moles in one equation, we can move that mole number to the other equation to solve for a different variable. All right, so how would you convert 1.204 times 10 to the 24 molecules of carbon dioxide to mass? Well, as we mentioned earlier, while I don't have a single equation that links particles and mass, I can work through moles. So let's find moles first. Now molecules are particles, so I'll write down big N equals 1.204 times 10 to the 24 molecules of carbon dioxide. And since I'm finding moles, we're going to need Avogadro's constant. Little n equals big N over Na, so 1.204 times 10 to the 24 molecules is divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23, and that gives me two moles of carbon dioxide. Now that's all well and good, but I'm not actually looking for moles, so I need to do a second step. If I'm looking for mass, then my equation is mass equals moles times molar mass. So I have two moles of carbon dioxide from step one, and the molar mass of carbon dioxide is 44.01 grams per mole. There is a separate video for finding molar mass if you need some extra help with that, so please feel free to check that out. In the end, that gives me 88.02 grams of carbon dioxide. If we're going the other way, we're pretty much just doing the exact same process in reverse. So if I have 22.005 grams of carbon dioxide, how many molecules of carbon dioxide do I have? First things first, my givens are mass equals 22.005 grams, and since I'm using mass to find moles, I'm going to need molar mass, which again is 44.01 grams per mole. The equation I'm using is moles equals mass over molar mass. So 22.005 grams divided by 44.01 grams per mole gives me 0.5 moles. Again, I'm not really looking for moles. I need molecules, which are particles. So the equation that I need is big N equals little n times Na, which is 0.5 moles from above times 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And that gives me 3.01 times 10 to the 23 molecules of carbon dioxide. All right, not so bad, right? but I haven't given you guys that bonus question I promised. So let's clear this part of the board and we'll do our last question. Say you have 192.852 grams of sodium chloride and you wanna know how many ions are in your sample. Now, really pay attention to the fact that I gave you information about sodium chloride, which is an ionic compound, but I'm asking for information about ions. Anytime you're trying to determine information about different types of particles, you need a ratio. And we have a tutorial about that in the description. So make sure that you're aware of this extra step. But for now, we just need to keep calm and find moles. So mass is 192.852 grams. Molar mass is 22.99 grams per mole from sodium 
plus 35.45 grams per mole from chlorine, which gives me a total of 58.44 grams per mole. My equation is moles equals mass over molar mass, which is 192.852 grams divided by 58.44 grams per mole. And that gives me 3.3 moles of sodium chloride. And it is important that we recognize that this is moles of sodium chloride, not moles of ions like we're going to be aiming for later. Step two is where we use our ratio. I like consistency, so I always do my ratio once I have moles. I need a ratio between sodium chloride and ions. And I know that for every one sodium chloride, there are two ions, sodium and chloride. From there, I put 3.3 moles under NaCl, and I put X under ions, cross multiply, so 1X equals 2 times 3.3 moles, and X equals 6.6 .6 moles of ions. All right, last step, you got this. Now that we know how many moles of ions we have, we can simply run it through the particle equation. Because remember that ions, like atoms and molecules, are types of particles. So, moles is 6.6 .6 moles, and Avogadro's constant is, as always, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And big N equals little n times Na, so 6.6 .6 moles times 6.02 times 10 to the 23, and that gives me 3.9732 times 10 to the 24 ions. And that's all there is to it. I know this was a bit of a longer tutorial, so if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Good job, everyone. If you find that you need a little extra help, please feel free to check out my other videos for tips and tricks on how to succeed in school. And as always, thanks for learning with Lamb.